asked me about uh, 7018 eighth inch uphill. Asked me if I had a video on it and I did not. Uh, I do have a 332 video, but not an eighth inch. Uh, so I'm gonna make him one. Eighth inch is a little different than 332. Uh, it burns the same. You're dealing with a lot bigger puddle and gravity is not on your side. Uh, it's, it's really hard to just run it straight up. Um, I have to, uh, you, you gotta go side to side spread that metal out because it's a bigger puddle and if you don't it's just going to wad up in the middle and get heavy and look like a big caterpillar sitting there keep a tight arc and go side to side it's kind of like dancing so go left one two right one two go quickly across the middle uh, because it's you're going to get plenty of metal in the middle uh no matter what it's, it's kind of like a kind of like a small weave uh you know don't go huge or nothing but you got to hold those sides go left hold the side right hold and uh You'll see what I mean. So I fire up and back drag down to where I want to start, as usual, with 7018. And you can see I go side hold, left side hold, right side hold, left side hold, right side hold, and so on. And uh, don't take too big of a step. Uh, just go up just a little bit at a time. When you go across, don't go up very much. Um, otherwise, if you take too big a step, uh, your sides are not going to look straight. It's going to be wavy. And uh, anyway, just just hold that side and let it fill up. Because as soon as you go across, it's going to break down the base metal. And if you move too quickly, it's not going to have time to fill up with new metal. And you'll have undercut. wonder what machine I'm using this is my little arc captain TIG 200 it's a great little machine I'm very pleased with it so far if you're interested in these machines I'll leave a link below so you can check them out as usual I'll just back drag down into my start and then uh, take off side to side moving up slowly and uh, if you didn't see it on the weld machine I'm running at 120 amps here uh, that that's about right for especially if you're learning uh, to run uphill with an eighth inch 7018. So most people's problem with one eighth is either not holding the side long enough for the puddle to fill up, they'll go over and it eats out the base metal. They don't stay there long enough for it to fill up good and it leaves undercut on the side. The other issue I see is taking too big of a step. And what I mean by that, the step is when you go, when you go side to side, when you move across, you move up too much. Uh, and you move across and you move up too much. Need to go up just a tiny, just a little bit each time. Uh, work on that. Uh, otherwise, if you move up too much, the side of your bead is going to look like this. It's going to be wavy because you're taking too big of a step. Just take little small steps. It'll be a straight line. It'll help your beads be a, a straight line on the sides, like that. So try those things. Hold the sides. Let, give it time. Don't get in a hurry. Just let that puddle fill up. Just, just go across, hold, go across, hold. Try that and take smaller steps and see if that'll solve your problem. Thanks for watching.